Welcome back to Philadelphia. Moments away from the opening face-off between the Rangers and Flyers. And closed captioning of tonight's game is brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. Our Audi goaltending matchup features Henrik Lundqvist, who on Thursday won his eighth consecutive game in which he made at least 30 saves. And in his last 17 against the Flyers, he's lost only three. And at the other end, Steve Mason, who stepped in in relief the other night and we saw in the pregame made a remarkable save to help the Flyers mount a comeback and win in overtime. He's 1-2-1 and one so far this season with a rather lofty goals against average. Yeah, he had a personal problem that he didn't tell the team when they lost 7-1 to in Florida. He went through a very difficult family issue. Didn't tell anyone. He allowed four goals in the first six shots, then took some time off, and now is trying to get his game back. Top line against top line as we're underway in the very first shot comes eight seconds into play from Michael Roffle, and it's deflected over the glass and out of play. Yeah, top line, I like that. Uh, you get Nash going up against the Giroux line. And for Rick Nash, you know, getting that first goal of the season, as we talked about, John, I, I think what it does, even though it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, a, a picture-perfect goal, right? But you know net. what? Yeah. It's, it's, on the, it's on the score sheet. It's in the uh, statistics. And uh, I, I think it probably just gives everybody a little, uh, a little bit more calm. Rangers brought their fourth line on the ice to take that defensive zone face off. The starting lineups you see are brought to you by Infinity, luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Matt Zuccarello took a hard hit right in front of the Ranger bench, right near Dave Maloney, who is between the benches tonight. We'll hear from him throughout the broadcast. There's step on, he leaves it, and a toe drag attempt by Rick Nash was deflected away at the last second. Boy, Roffel made a good play on Nash. Here comes Voracek, cutting toward the net, across for straight, and that shot deflects away. Lundqvist might have got a piece of it, Matt Zuccarello was there as well. Boy, did he get a stick on that as well? It might have deflected before it got to him, but he might have gotten a piece of that puck as well. Keith Yandel through the neutral zone, gains the red line and shoots it in. There's Chris Kreider, the first one to it. Puts on the brakes, Nick Schultz on him. Broussard winds it around for Dan Boyle. Kreider, Broussard, and Jesper Foss, the line for the Rangers. That one off Mark Stahl stick, but he keeps it in the zone. To the corner. Out of the zone, back to the neutral zone. Riders pass intercepted. Flyers step right back in. That first shot sails over Hendrik Lundqvist. Battle in the corner. Pierre Edouard Belmar, number 78 for the Flyers, on the ice for the first time as the Rangers shoot it in. He takes a weird bounce, and Steve Mason able to swallow it up and hold on. Well, Jake Voracek signed a long-term contract in the offseason. And he hasn't scored a goal yet, but he makes a real good play here. He led this team in assists a season ago, and then that set up to Mark Streit. Looked like it hit maybe the stick of Nash. I don't know if Lundquist gets a piece of it. We'll take another look. I, don't know if, I think it just went over him. Maybe it was Zuccarello that came back and made a good play. And that's the one thing you'll notice on the Flyers. They forecheck very, very hard. They get three, four players involved. Behind the Flyers net, J.T. Miller. His line on the ice for the first time with Oscar Lindbergh and Kevin Hayes, who tried to redirect that one from right inside the crease. And to the other side it comes. Hayes after it. Still inside the Rangers zone, but Wayne Simmons calmly distributes back to his defenseman. And the Flyers shoot in. That's Sam Gagne. Centering the second line tonight with Matt Reed and Simmons. Well, Lane Vigneault was talking before the game, but you know about the importance of his team and he has mentioned this in the early part of the season john as you as you've heard where he wants his defense to get a little cleaner coming out of the zone but he says it's it's extremely important in this game to be able to make those plays because this flyers team they'll come with three four five they'll really go at you hard in your own zone so if you can make that first pass that little 10-foot pass kevin fine was talking to dave maloney in the pregame about that that little 10-foot pass and then a second 10-foot pass and come out of your zone cleanly, then you, you're going to have some opportunities in the other zone. Victor Stahlberg had a brief protest about the faceoff being in the Ranger zone, and here he is with the puck in the neutral zone. Flips it ahead. Rangers change up their defense. They'll keep the fourth line on the ice. Stahlberg pokes it toward goal, and again, Steve Mason taking no chances, covering up. We've played two minutes and 29 seconds here in Philadelphia. Well, the new head coach of the Philadelphia Flyers is 
That man right there, Dave Haxtall, 11 seasons at the University of North Dakota. And he has come in, and I'll tell you what, these players rave about him. You see him, he's got that steely look to him. You know, he's, he's an intense coach, but he doesn't build tension. He stays calm on the bench. He stays calm in the locker room. The players have gravitated uh, to him and, and his preparedness and how he gets them ready to play and the way he communicates with them. He's done a nice job to start. He had only scored eight goals their first five games. And then we're found a way to get five last game. Michael Waffle through center. Voracek for a goal. Henrik Lundqvist sticks it into the corner. Up to the point for Mark Streit. Stepan battling with him. Rangers have a 2 on one Here's Matt Zuccarello toward the net. The pullback shot stop. Tried to go short side on Steve Mason who held the post and made the save. Here's Nash. Nash circles the net. To the point for McDonough. Now down low, Stepan tries to bank it off two players. It's in the crease and finally, while lying down, Steve Mason holds on. Boy, what a play. What a save by Mason. You know, this started in the Rangers zone and Derek Stepan battled hard against Mark Strike right here. Stays with him, stays with him, reaches, Strike can't handle it. There's Zuccarello to jump on it to force the, uh, force the odd man rush. And what a smart little move by Zuccarello. Holds it really patient. And then Steve Mason does a nice job holding his ground and making the glove save. Battle off the faceoff. Puck slid up the boards, and now the Flyers will look to break out. This is Michael Delzato, former Ranger. That one put toward the goal. It was tipped on goal by Keith Yandel, and Henrik Lundqvist had to be alert. Sent all the way through by Scott Lawton. This line is Scott Lawton centering R.J. Umberger and Braden Shen. Ryder off the boards. Radko Gudis controls and passes off for his defense partner, Delzato. Rangers go for a change. Played a little more than three and a half minutes here on a Saturday night in Philadelphia. Rangers and Flyers, first of five meetings this season. Here's Simmons through center. His pass deflected, and now Dominic Moore will look to wheel and go the other way. Moore left side pulls up. Puts it toward goal. Oh, that one deflected, and Jared Stoll just a half step too late. Victor Stahlberg battling along the boards. Boots his feet. Passes off for Boyle, and now there's Stahl. Stahl down the boards. Stahlberg centers. Stoll is there. Couldn't tee it up, though, and the Flyers look to skate away with Wayne Simmons. Takes a bump along the boards by Stahlberg, and the Rangers take the puck. Rangers have done some good things in the offensive zone. They're so close. They're getting the puck to the front of the net, just not able to get sticks on the puck at all times, but they're doing a nice job putting pressure on and creating some scoring chances. JT Miller skates it out of the zone, chips it ahead, goes after it, runs into a defender, but sent it into the zone from his side of the red line, so it's an icing on the Rangers. Four minutes and 41 seconds into play. I think JT Miller was looking for an interference on the, on the play as he tried to just throw it around Radko Gudas and skate around him, and Gudas with the hit, JT Miller. He was saying the other day, uh, he hasn't scored a goal yet either, but he said, I'm not trying to overthink things. So as, soon, as soon as you start making things too complicated, you know, it, it hurts more than helps. Keith Yandel got there first. Rangers quickly out of the zone. Here comes Miller, right side. His shot was saved by Mason, who went down to his knees and held on. Rangers record their second shot on goal here in the first nearly five minutes. Make it their third. Now, Derek Stepan did come out on the ice this morning. The Rangers had just their extra players on, except Stepan came out. And for Derek Stepan, he's lost 10 pounds in the last number of days. And he said the good thing is that he's constant at down 10 pounds. And having an awful time with that issue with the teeth and the screws coming out of his jaw, still just on soft boots. And... Uh, He's, he's playing with a, you know, a lot of pain. Van de Velde headed toward the net, had a puck knocked away from him. At Belmar along the boards. Fine with a quick pass to step on, and the Rangers will start out. Here's Rick Nash. Flips it in around the board, step on first one there. And there's Zuccarello behind the net. Off for Nash. Schultz guards him. That one deflects off. Step on at the side of the net. 
It's the fourth line for Philadelphia out against this top line for the Rangers. And Dave Haxtell, the Flyers coach, says, I can play this line against anyone. He said, they're a very important line for our team. They've been good. Nash for Klein. Klein pinching down, wasn't able to get full control of the puck, but Nash puts it toward goal again, and then Zuccarello slides it just wide. Flyers hemmed in their own zone, able to flip it over a leaping Ryan McDonough, back to center. Six minutes gone by in the opening period. Flyers with four shots on goal. The Rangers with three. Here comes four. Check through the neutral zone. Flyers go three on two. Cross ice. It goes to Raffle, and that's stopped by Lundqvist. It slides through the crease. Lundqvist came way out of his crease. The puck was behind him, but the Rangers knocked it away. That was a very good play by Michael Delzato from behind his own net. The long pass all the way up over the red line, and that sprung a three on two for the Flyers. Leaving through center, Brayton Shen, he flips it into the Rangers zone. Girardi fakes to go one way, goes the other for Chris Kreider. And Kreider back to center. Brandon Manning holds up, now slides across ice for Yevgeny Medvedev. Into the zone for Umberger. Takes a bump from Girardi, and Flyers continue on. Mark Stahl trying to swap the puck away, instead back to the point for Medvedev. He winds and fires, stopped by Lundqvist. Shen in the corner, watched by Stahl. Mark Stahl with the steal. Tries to find a teammate. Puck back behind the net for Girardi. Up the boards and back to center. That went a little too far, but right in the zone. Here's Matt Reed. Sharp angle shot, all the way through. Rangers will look to break as Medvedev pinched in, but Wayne Simmons back checking helps out the cause. And the Flyers will start out. Mark Strike into the red line and flips in. You hear the Rangers screaming for Dan Boyle to wheel, so he brings it up the boards and out they go. Jared Stoll left side, all the way through the crease. Up the boards, and here comes Gagne. Good back check by Stahlberg, knocks the puck away. Game number 800 for Jared Stoll. From center, intercepted by Boyle at the red line. That one tipped ahead. Played a little more than eight minutes so far. Flyers have outshot the Rangers 7-3, but there's no score. Here comes Belmar through center. Opposite corner, dump it. First one there, shot on goal is stopped by Lundqvist, and he will hold on. 11.38 remaining in the first period. We're scoreless in Philadelphia. Back in Philadelphia, scoreless nearly midway through the first. Dave Maloney is between the benches. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, it's been a very quick pace here. And, and the Flyers, as uh, Joe has mentioned about Haxall, the coach, a new generation coach where he wants to get five people involved. The question is, I think, the decision-making on the back end from the Flyers. The Rangers have to be who they've been. And that's been a smart team and kind of capitalized on a team that wants to play like the Rangers. The atmosphere in here is, is very good as it's Saturday night in South Philly. So all in all, we had 70 face-offs the last game against Arizona. There are not going to be 70 face-offs in this game, fellas, if this pace keeps up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, we have one now to the left of Henrik Lundqvist. Pair of 28s on the draw, and the Rangers' Dominic Moore wins it from Claude Giroux. Yeah, Dave talked about those defensemen for Philadelphia. The Flyers came into the season with eight defensemen on one-way contracts. They've got some very good young ones in the minors and in junior hockey. They're going to be good in the, in the future. Players that can skate and move the puck and provide offense, but they're a little bit, uh, a little ways off from getting those players on this team. Well, tomorrow night on MSG, the Rangers take on the Calgary Flames live from Madison Square Garden. Live coverage begins at 6.30 with Re Visa Rangers game night. It's the Rangers and Flames tomorrow night on MSG Network. Flames finally won their first home game last night. Boy, they came back, scored a late goal against Detroit to tie it, and then they win it in overtime. It's a team that's a little disappointing with their start. Had some goaltending issues, but they are it's a team that, uh, if you're not ready to work, it could be a long night against them. Step on cross ice into open ice, and there's Mark Streit, who just beat Rick Nash to the puck. McDonough takes a bump in center, gives it away, and the Flyers will retreat. 
strike through center. Finds Voracek. Jake Voracek waits, looks. Here's Raffo down the left side. His shot toward goal. Stopped by Lundquist and easily cleared away by Kevin Klein. Neat little pass from Klein to Nash, and the Rangers start out. Brandon Manning around the boards. And now back for Medvedev. Flyers have had a little bit too much time in these last four or five minutes of handling the puck in their own zone. Rangers need to be a little bit quicker. They need to put a little bit more pressure on the Flyers' defense. Round and pass Manning. Now the Rangers with an opportunity in front. Slides through the wow. crease. Somehow Mason spun what around and made the stop. Beautiful save with the stick. It looked like it would have gone in the net and might have slid just wide, but that puck was going towards the open net, and Mason with an alert save. Well, the Rangers got the puck to the net quickly after the wrap around the boards eluded the defenseman Manning. Back quickly the other way. Here's Umberger. Stopped by Lundqvist, who's way out above his crease again to make the save. Now the giveaway, and Lawton has his stick lifted, and the puck taken away, and the Rangers put it back to safety. Tipped in by Lawton, Girardi after it. Umberger on him. They cancel each other out. Yandel there to help collect the puck, and the Rangers will start out. Yeah, you know, again, this Flyers team had trouble scoring goals. Dave Haxtall said, you know what, we haven't had a lot of puck luck in, you know, this season. We've, we've created chances, and they, they're showing it here in the first period. Lundqvist has had to be good. Back into the Rangers zone for Kevin Klein. And of course, he has been. Reflected ahead by Kreider, and Mason will play it. Up the boards for Matt Reed. Find a pinch down, it goes past him, and Gagne flips it in. And with Lundqvist will survey it, and hand off for Ryan McDonough. McDonough takes a bump, Flyers take the puck to the point. Slap shot, score! Mm -hmm. took the shot there was traffic in front the flyers lead it one nothing now yeah, the flyers four check that we talked about and dave saw it down at ice level how they've been coming there's the initial four check one man on the boards simmons with the hit on mcdonough and this this shot i'm not sure lundquist picked it up here it is again simmons with the hit then ends up with the puck and then strike right off the pass takes the shot reed was there Klein was in front, and the Flyers, with the goal by Mark Streit, take the lead. So the Rangers, who had been so good in first periods this year, outscoring the opponent 10-3, taking the lead in six of their first eight games in the first period. They surrender the first one tonight. Defenseman Mark Streit with a slap shot that beats Lundqvist. Up the boards in center, Girardi battles for it. Belmar flips it in. Vandevelde hands it off, and that shot deflected away. Over the glass and out of play. Eight minutes, ten seconds remain in the opening period. Mark Streit with his second of the year. Simmons and Gagne the assists, and the Flyers lead it 1-0. Strike with the only goal of the game thus far to give the Flyers the lead. And we thought maybe Henrik Lundqvist was screened. Well, it starts with the four check. Here's all the aggressiveness. And you see three Flyers forwards all on one side. And right in the middle of the ice, the high slot. We stop it there. That's Stahlberg, number 25. Watch where the puck goes. Right off his left glove and past Lundqvist. So it deflects off the glove, change directions, and that gives the Flyers the lead. That one dumped all the way down just to the right of Steve Mason. So an icing on the Rangers with 7.53 remaining here in the first period. Flyers have outshot the Rangers 11-4 so far. And a face off to the left of Henrik Lundqvist. Gagne and Broussard on the draw. Gagne is chased from the circle. So Matt Reed steps in. Simmons and Klein battle for the puck. And now Simmons and McDonough. 
Faust up the board, but only as far as Michael Delzato. Here comes Matt Reed off the boards toward the net. That shot. Abraham McGlunquist that deflected in front. And now Kreider. Ball size for Broussard, and Derek Broussard will shoot it in. Kogudis after it. Now down from his point spot, Dan Girardi. He collides with both Jesper Faust and Michael Delzano. Back to the point for Yandel. He puts one on goal. That one just wide and sits on the back of the net as Broussard and Mason got tangled up in the crease. Yeah, Broussard looks a little shaken up on the play. He tried to jump and get out of the way. And now seems to be okay. Let's check in with Dave between the benches. Fellas, we talk about the open ice game in the middle of the ice, but there's some pretty important battles along the boards. Watch Simmons once again out battle the Rangers along the boards and create the turnover. It eventually ends up on the defender's stick. So there's all kinds of things that we talk about in open ice, but boy, oh boy, those board battles are just as important. And the Flyers in the back part of this period from here have been winning more of the board battles, fellas. Boy, they're getting in the fast, aren't they, Dave? Yeah, they're, their pace is really, really good. Mark Stahl toward the net. That one deflected and stopped by Mason. Oscar Lindbergh cruising through, got his stick on it. Mason was able to make the save. Miller chips it up the board. Stahl has it hop over his stick, and now the Flyers will look to take advantage. Umberger for Shen. Puts on the brakes, cross ice it goes. Manning shot! Sails wide as Henrik Lundqvist again came way out of the crease to challenge. And that cross ice pass intercepted by Miller, and the Rangers look to go three on two. Here's Hayes. Cuts to the left side. Miller toward the net. Hayes toward the net. And that shot stopped by Steve Mason. Now right back in front. Miller is able to be there and score. JT Miller kept his spot in front. The puck found him and he found the back of the net for his first of the year. We're tied at one. Now the Rangers make a defensive play in their own zone in the high slot. And now they come up to the ice with speed. And Keith Yandel sees it and follows it. There's the turnover. Now here come the Rangers. The three forwards are going to make the rush. They're going to end up with a chance, but then Keith Yandel follows up. Bad angle shot there, and then with Yandel following up the play, it ends up in front, and Miller with his first of the season. This line has been good in this game. Good job by Yandel just to come up, get the puck to the front of the net, and then Miller does the rest. So J.T. Miller able to bat it out of midair and score his first of the year. And the Flyers and Rangers tied at one with six and a half minutes remaining here in the first period. That's like, what he means about not overthinking. Just playing the game on gut instinct. And now we've got a delay as the referees at the... Let's see what happens here. And I, you know, I don't know what they would be looking at there. I mean, he did and, kick know, it, it was, but then he hit it with his stick. He did get it with his stick. Right. So they're just question. confirming, and it is a goal. Yeah. And I don't even think he kicked it. I think he just stopped it yeah. with, the, with the skate. Mm -hmm. Even if it would have deflected off of the skate in the end, it probably would have counted. Although we've seen JT Miller in this building. Oh, we have, haven't we? That's right. <laughs> Put a puck in with his skate. That was not a kicking motion. Yes. That was called one. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so you never can tell. Thank you for that reminder. Yeah. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear it, too. <laughs> so we are tied at one. Here's Delzato toward the net. That one. Stopped and swallowed up by Dan Boyle, who was able to chip it back to center. JT Miller is first. Yandel and Lindbergh the assist, 13.30, the time of the goal. There you saw Delzato being very aggressive in the offensive zone. Belmar toward the net, now Vandevelde to the puck. Spins and puts it down the boards, where Belmar and Klein come together. This has been the matchup in this first period, that fourth line for the Flyers out against the Rangers' top line. Ryan White, the third member of that line, number 25, threw a hit along the boards on McDonough. Flyers take the puck. Nick Schultz down the boards. Vandevelde, hard around to the other side. Mark White will get there. He's the goal scorer for the Flyers here in the first. Finally, the Rangers able to get it to the blue line. Not quite out yet, though. McDonough goes cross ice for Matt Zuccarello, and he has offense on his mind as he takes it into the flyer zone. Tries to cut underneath and inside, then pokes it toward the goal. And Steve Mason able to cover up. 
Five minutes, one second remaining in the opening period. JT Miller with his first of the year. We're tied at one. Back in Philadelphia with a reminder, you can download MSG Go, the only app that lets you watch MSG Network's coverage of live Knicks games anywhere. Download now at the App Store or Google Play. MSG Go is currently available to Optimum subscribers. JT Miller's goal comes 2.15 after the Mark Strike goal. So the Ranger deficit was short-lived, and the game is tied at one as we have a face-off to the left of Steve Mason. Gagne beats Broussard on the draw, and the Flyers start out. Here's Reed. Chips it up the boards for Gagne. He tries to put it toward net. Keith Yandel got in the way. And his pass only to the point. Gudis back to the corner. Gagne takes the bump, but Simmons takes the puck. Tries to work on Yandel. Goes down. And he might get and called penalty. for a penalty yeah. for closing his hand on that's the puck. Good, that's a good call, John. He reached out. It was quick, but the uh, the official, Kelly Sutherland, was about five feet away from him. And, and, and you saw it. Made a good call. Very quickly put his hand over the no, puck, Delphi, pulled it away 17. from Yandel. You'll see it right here once he goes down. Watch. There's the reach. Puts his hand over the puck, brings it back in so Yandel can't make the play. And the first power play goes to the Rangers. This is a penalty killing group for Philadelphia that's been much better this season than they were a season ago. They've changed the way they do things. They do a good job. They hit, they move a defenseman up to the high slot. And watch for the Rangers to do some crisscrossing around the front of the net and get the puck to the weak side. This Rangers power play is presented by Volkswagen. Flyers have killed 16 of their last 17 penalties since they allowed three power play goals to the Florida Panthers early in the season. Meanwhile, the Rangers, three for 20 on the power play, but goals in their last two games, including the Keith Yandel one the other night. I was able to shoot it down with Lawton. So Wayne Simmons for delay of game, closing his hand on the puck at 15-20. The Rangers weren't alert there as Belmar came in and forced Lundqvist to move the puck, and Belmar ended up with it. With Nash heads to the bench as the Rangers head into the flyer zone. Hand it off for Kreider. He goes cross ice for Stepan. Now Stepan for Zuccarello between the circles. That one doesn't get through. Good stop in front by Manning, but only cleared as far as Dan Boyle. Here's Boyle. Cross ice for Broussard. Back for Dan Boyle. His shot sails high over the head of Steve Mason. Battle for the puck continues. Zuccarello puts it all the way through. Here's Broussard along the half boards. Boyle for Zuccarello to Broussard. Right circle, now Boyle, slap shot, deflected on goal, and Steve Mason able to cover up and hold on. Yeah, see, the Rangers do a nice job there finding the open man. They try to take the puck all the way to one side, which opens the weak side. There it is there. And then back the other way, and now there's time. Broussard, shot, good save by Mason as that deflects on the way in with Chris Kreider right on top of Mason. Flyers penalty kill here, very aggressive until you have control of the puck. Then they back off. Four-player battle behind the net for the puck. Now JT Miller joins it. Hayes able to shoot it up the boards for McDonough. Now for JT Miller. Rather Broussard. Now here it is. Here's Miller. He goes cross ice for Broussard out of his reach. They want him taking the shot. They want Miller to shoot that puck if he gets the opportunity and he was set up nicely by McDonough. Miller and Kreider play catch. Back for McDonough. And now JT Miller puts it toward the net all the way through. Broussard to the puck. Again, that was a pass. He was looking for the deflection. Simmons is out of the box. Rangers don't convert on the power play. They had one shot during the two minutes. Hayes goes cross ice. Broussard tries to make a pullback move. And now a two-on-one can develop here. Here comes Giroux. He's got Simmons with him. Giroux for Simmons. What a stop! Right pad saved by Henrik Lundqvist going post to post. Boy, he's he's off to some kind of start, isn't he, this season? That's, a, that's another spectacular save. Here comes Matt Reed. Watched by Klein. Reed taken out of the play, and Mark Stahl takes the puck. And that was Claude Giroux with the pass. It was a head fake first to try and freeze Lundqvist. He didn't go for that. And all in one motion, the pass, the shot, and the right leg by Lundqvist. You know, it started with Radko Gudas making a defensive play in his own zone, 
on Broussard. Right, Broussard tries to make a move. There's the defensive play. Now here's the odd man rush. And this is Drew. Watch the fake. Fake and the pass. Boy, oh boy, that was bang, bang play. And Lundquist gets over there with the right pad. 12th flyer shot of the first period. Rangers win the faceoff toward the net. Mason able to see it and steer it away. Step onto the puck. And now Nash. Cross ice for Girardi. Here's Nash toward the net. That one easily seen and stopped and held by Steve Mason. 135 remaining here in the opening period. Support Hockey Fights Cancer with the Rangers. Bid on exclusive memorabilia, including autographed lavender jerseys and sticks used by Rangers players during the warm-ups the other night. Net proceeds will benefit the Garden of Dreams Foundation, so you can go ahead and bid at NewYorkRangers.com. Face off to the left of Steve Mason. Hayes and Lawton on the draw. Someone jumped the gun, so they'll do it again. Yeah, the defensive player has to put his stick on the ice first, and that's what Hayes was waiting for. Watton didn't want to put his stick down. He, was, he wanted to time, time the drop of the puck first. But his, he has to put his stick on the ice first. There he does, and Hayes wins it. That one sails wide from Dan Girardi. Uh, pardon, me, that was, pardon me, John. That was Miller that won the faceoff. Now Rangers have to defend a three-on-two as that puck hops over R.J. Umberger's stick. Hayes through center for Miller right side. Three on two if they hurry. Miller goes cross ice. That shot stopped by Mason and he holds on. Now good puck movement and again the Rangers with the defensive play and they get up the ice quickly. And, and as we saw in the Rangers only goal, Keith Yandel jumped in on that one. He does again. So here's the defensive play. Now here they come. Four on two with Yandel being the late man. And this is just a good save. Good pass. Mason does a nice job getting from his left to his right. And Lindbergh with the quick shot, but the glove of Mason was a little bit quicker. Shots are 13-12 in favor of the Rangers. They've had nine of their last of the last ten shots on goal in the game. That went a bit too far for Raffle all the way down, and this will be an icy call as well with a minute seven remaining in the opening period. Jesper Faust, it looks like Elaine Vigneault is starting to find some, some combinations that he likes. And that was a good move, putting Faust, moving him up in the lineup. Ryder with some good work, able to keep it in the zone. Now for Sarge will go to work. Behind the net for Faust as we're under a minute remaining in the opening period. Good work by the Rangers to keep the puck in the zone and maintain possession. Here's McDonough toward the net. That one didn't get all the way there. And now the Flyers look to start out. They have four joining the rush. But Schultz winds it around. Borchek has a jump off his stick. Now battles back for it. Raffle able to keep it in at the blue line for Giroux behind the net. Watched by Klein. Giroux and Klein continue to battle, and then the giveaway, and the Rangers able to clear the zone with 20 seconds remaining here in the first period. Cross ice for Delzato. Dominic Moore back for it, spins away from a check. Victor Stahlberg does not. He goes down, but the Rangers take the puck. Five seconds remaining. Shot toward the net to flex over the glass for Mark Stahl and out of play. And there'll be a final face-off in the flyer zone with 3.3 seconds left as Jared Stoll has a few words to say. Well, St Stahlberg did not see I believe it was Belmar coming right there with the hit. Belmar came off the bench and surprised Stahlberg. Dave, what'd you see? Well, speaking of coming from the bench, you can hear the bench scream. He's coming, he's coming, and, and you can just catch Stahlberg just at the last second was alert enough to kind of turn a little bit, and I think that's he got alerted from the bench because they were screaming, look out, boy, oh boy. This is really, guys, from this level, this has been a, a wonderfully played period both ways. Good skill, good physicality. It's been a wonderful period. Rangers will try for one final opportunity. Face off to the right of Steve Mason. Dominic Moore on the draw. 
Flyers win the faceoff, though, and put it in the corner as the buzzer sounds and the first 20 minutes are in the books in Philadelphia with the score tied at one. Yeah, the Rangers had a good start to this game with some early pressure in the Philadelphia zone, and then the Flyers found their game. They were able to get some odd man rushes. They forechecked aggressively. They scored the first goal of the game. And then we saw another reversal, and the Rangers turned it around, scored a goal, got the momentum back, and it was an evenly played first period. Welcome back to Philadelphia. Getting set for the start of the second period. Rangers and Flyers tied at one. New York Rangers hockey is presented by Chase. Time now for our Cadillac trivia question. It involves the head coach of the Flyers, Dave Hackstoll. Prior to Dave, who was the last head coach to go directly from the NCAA to the NHL? Mull that over. We'll have the answer for you a little bit later. Hackstoll, of course, spent 11 seasons as head coach at the University of North Dakota and named the head coach of the Flyers prior to this season. Has them off to a 3-2-1 start with three wins in their last four games. Not sure exactly what what this conversation is is all about. I wonder if the, the only penalty of the period, remember, was, was the penalty with Simmons putting his hand over the puck. I wonder if that's if that's the discussion i thought it was you know what it was a hard fought first period but it was clean which is something we haven't seen a lot of in this building have we dave <laughs> <laughs> not in the old not in the old building i can't pass judgment on this building but that dump that was across the parking lot <laughs> pardon me i got a I just thought, i just thought i'd say one thing just to get dave a little quiet yeah. up here you say dump in the most uh, yeah, appreciative yeah, terms yeah, right? appreciative yeah. terms uh-huh it's nice coming down to this town and not being scared to death. That's the uh, that's best part of this whole deal. <laughs> Giroux's opportunity was swallowed up by Kevin Klein. Flyers still have the puck. Here's Giroux again, out to the point. Schultz tries to put one toward net. It hits off a Ranger, and it's back to the neutral zone. Rangers had nine of the last ten shots of that opening period after Mark Streit's goal. Seven of their 13 shots overall came from the line of J.T. Miller, Kevin Hayes, and Oscar Lindbergh. Lindbergh had four to lead all Rangers. Here's Simmons through center. Down the middle, that puck batted out of midair, and Chris Kreider able to corral and tipped ahead, and here comes Kreider with speed down the right side. Kreider to the net, shot stopped by Mason. He got the blocker up and made the save. Now Matt Reed quickly the other way, left side. Pulls up, goes cross ice. Delzato puts it toward goal, and Henrik Lundqvist able to kick out the right pad and make the stop. Well, nice again for Delzato. His shot from the right circle stopped by Lundqvist. That is a beautiful save by Lundqvist on the deflection by Gagne. That would have, that would have gone well wide, but Gagne gets a piece of it. Lundqvist with the right pad makes the save. So a couple of good saves early on to start this period. Meanwhile, we're missing a linesman. Scott Driscoll has not come out for the second period. Here's the speed and the power of Chris Kreider. And there's the quick shot. Mason, good position, makes a save. That was after Keith Yandel's really off to a good start in this game. He's been involved in the offense. He made the defensive play that led to the Kreider chance. Puck up down into the flyer zone. Now we have a change. Now that Scott Driscoll is back on the ice. Did not start the period. He's out there now. Here comes Hayes. That shot from a sharp angle stop. Miller tries to swat at the rebound. We can only assume, Joe, that that's what the discussion was at the beginning of the second period with the referee and both the coaches. But here comes Shen, left side. Watched by Stahl. Got that stick in the way and able to intercept the pass. Stahl's pass up the boards, though, intercepted. And a giveaway. Here's an opportunity. They score! Mm -hmm. Flyers. Now, Mark Stahl made such a good defensive play the first time around. Stayed with his man all the way. This is just a good play. Stays with it and then can't make the pass and then just reaches out. And everybody's going one way. Scott Lawton ends up putting it over the left shoulder of Henrik Lundqvist. Scott Lawton is a player that Dave Haxtell said this morning, he says, this third line of ours will develop and grow around this guy. He can skate, 
still a very young player, has offensive ability, he's a good face-off man. He's got a lot of upside to his game, and he says that's how this third line will develop. So just two minutes and seven seconds into the second period, Scott Lawton able to whistle a wrist shot over Henrik Lundqvist's glove side, and the Flyers are back on top, 2-1. There you see the first round pick of the Flyers, and he had a very good training camp. Worked hard, stuck out in most of the games, and deserved to make this team out of training camp. Stahlberg to the corner, takes a bump. Giroux will skate to the puck. Now Gudis without a stick. He broke his on the hit. And now gets one. Stahlberg wraps it in front. That one stopped by Mason. He hugged the post. Jake Borchek gave him his stick. Out to the point for McDonough. He gets bumped on the play with by Borchek without a stick, but McDonough carries on. There'll be a delayed penalty upcoming. I think Borchek for holding. That's exactly what it is. So Borchek comes out after Gudas without the stick was looking around. Borchek noticed that, came all the way back to the net to hand the defenseman his stick, which is the proper thing to do and then had to try to defend without it. Here it is again. So the little move right there, and Borchek, after holding on to McDonough, tried to plead his case by throwing his arms up in the air. Dave Haxtell does not like to call, and the Rangers with their second power play of the game. Didn't seem to be all that much, but they make the call. So there you see the Flyers have killed off all 14 power plays at home, but not so good on the road. Yandel for Boyle. Well, they've got an issue, some sort of an issue at the Ranger bench. F flyer bench? Or, uh, pardon me, at the Flyer bench. And the play, uh, that's Raffle. He was getting some help now, but the, the Flyers were pounding on the boards with their sticks. And that's why, even though the Rangers had control of the puck right away, they blew the they blew the whistle immediately when they noticed that there was an issue. And these team doctors now in these buildings sit very, very close to the benches in case they're needed immediately. And so we can only hope that everything is is okay with Raffle, young kid from. Austria that surprised and made this Flyers team a season ago and now his older brother had a tryout with the Winnipeg Jets and made that team that was signed to a contract as well. Certainly concern continuing from the Philadelphia Flyers who look down their hallway. Captain Claude Giroux. It's just, you know, we, we don't see this thing all that often. We've seen it in the past. It's a, it's, a, it's a very disturbing thing to happen when the game gets stopped and you can see the panic with the, with the players. And now the head coach wondering if everything is okay. And so the, we continue the delay. And so now I think the officials are Checking in with Toronto. Just to talk about this situation. Let's take a look at something that happened a couple minutes ago, Joe. And Michael Roffle on the ice. Okay, there's Stoll over on the left side. It was a, a little bit of a collision, but... Maybe an elbow it, up it, high? It wasn't much. Right there? Yeah, he, yeah. he catches him. I don't think, Stoll had his elbow up, but I don't think he even saw a raffle coming his way. And maybe just clipped him in the jaw. Didn't look like much. And whether that was, that was the issue or not, you hate to, you hate to speculate. You just hope that everything's okay. And now they decided to get everybody back to where they 
were before the still there was six seconds that was that uh, came off the power play for the Rangers before the whistle was blown. And so now now's the difficult part, especially from a flyer standpoint. You're the head coach. You're going to try and get everybody to, to refocus here when a, when a teammate has that kind of an issue. This power play is presented by Volkswagen. Rangers back to work and back with the puck. Here's Derek Stepan at the left half boards. Down low for Zuccarello. Back for Stepan. Derek Stepan. Back for Yandel. His shot just wide. Rebound poked at by Zuccarello. And Steve Mason might have gotten there. I think he did. Yandel into the corner. A little bit too far for Boyle. And the Flyers able to clear it all the way down. Minute 15 remaining on the board. Check penalty. Flyers again. Dump it deep into the Rangers zone. McDonough loses an edge and loses the puck as well as the Flyers. With Giroux able to put it behind the net. Yeah, there's the aggressiveness. They'll come up the ice. And again, they, you'll notice that when the Rangers do have control in the offensive zone, the Flyers back off. And the Rangers have been able to get the shots that they've wanted. And Mason has made some good saves while shorthanded. Kevin Hayes around the net. JT Miller, the first one there. There's Kreider's side of the net. Back to the point for McDonough. Cross ice it goes. That slap shot. Just wide. Now McDonough back toward the net. Sticked away by Mason. Broussard to the puck. For Kreider. Now Hayes. For Derek Broussard. Cross ice it goes for McDonough. Just off his stick. 20 seconds remaining in the penalty. Here's Broussard for Kevin Hayes. Hayes waits. Now Broussard. Down low. McDonough tries to spin it toward the net. Here's Kreider with the puck. Back up top for Broussard. Wines, fire, score! It hit someone or something in front and sailed past Steve Mason. A power play goal for the Rangers, and we're tied at two. Yeah, it hit one of the Flyers' sticks and changed directions and deflected up. And so the, the Rangers really do a good job. Once they get control of the puck, you know, they, they'll end up going down low eventually with it. And you'll see all the Flyers come back down low. And now the Rangers will recognize this. See all the orange sweaters down low? They'll go out to the point. And then here comes the shot. And that deflects off of White, number 25. It hits his stick. It was a low shot. There it goes. Deflects. Changes not only the direction, but also it goes up high over the glove to tie the game. So the Rangers, just as they did in the first period, reacting quickly with a goal of their own after the Flyers score. And we're tied at two here early in the second. That was really good recognition by the Rangers. All these Flyers were down low. They recognized that. They went right back out to the point. And, you know, then had time to make the decision whether to move the puck or take the shot. Out the other way is Shen. Drop pass for Strike. Good play by Victor Stolberg. And good move there to elude a check, and here comes Jared Stoll toward the net, sticked away by Mason. Stolberg fanned on the attempted rebound, and the Flyers go the other way with four. Right into the zone. All the way through, and that backhand able to be stopped by Lundquist, and now Stolberg will wheel and go the other way. Dominic Moore bumped by Medvedev. Takes a run at Gudis. Derek Broussard, the power play goal, his second. Hayes and Kreider, the assist at 448. Rangers have power play goals in three consecutive games. And we are tied at two. McDonough off the boards. Nash able to flip just to center. And now Delzato retreats in his own zone. Voracek wheeling. Now the Flyers head into the Rangers zone. Delzato toward the net. That one chipped on goal and stopped by Lundqvist. Here comes Step on the other way. Up the boards. Zuccarello can't quite love it. And the Flyers try to start out. Here's Van Develde. Left side. Now cross ice. Voracek. All the way through it eludes Giroux. Schultz keeps it in. Voracek watched by Kevin Klein. 
Now Schultz to Van de Velde. Now that shot by Voracek stopped in front, and the Rangers able to clear. Now Jake Voracek, we haven't, you know, you haven't mentioned his name much in this game. John, I mean, last season he started off with points in 14 of the first 15 games and never had a three-game streak where he didn't score, or at least get a point. He started the first three games this season without a point and has his three assists on the season thus far. Reed's pass deflected away, and the Rangers put it right back in the flyer zone. Ryder dumps it in. Rangers finish up their line change. 12.35 remaining in the second period. Each team with a goal. We're tied at two. Here's Gagne into the Rangers zone. Down the boards. Lee Simmons check. Two Rangers are there. Simmons and Gagne continue to battle, but it's Kevin Hayes who comes away with the puck. Now Medvedev leaves that one behind. Miller on the forecheck, and the Flyers through center. Good play by Lindbergh. And he sets that one and right back into the Flyers' zone. Matt Reed left side. Ryan right after it. Two Rangers on him. Oscar Lindbergh takes the puck. But only to the point. Here's Delzano. His shot through traffic. Henrik Lundqvist able to see it and hold on. 11.45 remaining in the second period. Scott Lawton gave the Flyers the lead, but not for long. Derek Broussard answered. Welcome back. Wednesday night on MSG. Carmelo Anthony and the Knicks open the season in Milwaukee. They take on the Bucks. Live coverage begins at 7.30 with Visa Knicks game night. The Knicks season opener is Wednesday night on MSG Network, and it's also available on MSG Go. Derek Broussard with his second. He has scored both with the man advantage. Rangers now have four power play goals on the season. One each in the last three, and they've tied it at two. Broussard's goal came 241 after Scott Lawton's goal. In the first period, JT Miller scored 215 after Mark Streit did. The delay here is this is hockey fights cancer night in Philadelphia. So the players, and you saw the players on the ice are banging their sticks on the ice. They showed a young 12-year-old girl on the on the big board that's been fighting cancer and she's got a nice ovation. Good pass from Klein to Stahlberg and now Victor Stahlberg using his speed right side heading toward the net all the way through puts it on goal stopped twice by Mason Rangers hacking away at it and Mason able to hold on. Boy, there you see Stahlberg's speed and his strength. Uh, he just he just blew down the right side on his offside. You'll just see the speed here. And Medvedev is 82, tries to get over and just can't go backwards fast enough to stay up with Stahlberg. And Stahlberg just gets that extra half a step on him, does a nice job going hard to the net and made sure he didn't collide with the goaltender. And then Mason makes the first save and then stopped the second one as well. Face-off win for Belmar, but the Rangers to the puck. First down shot from between the circles by Stepan. Just sails wide. Good touch pass back for Girardi, who's shot. Breaks his stick. Vandevelde without a stick. Here's Yandel. Pass work finds Girardi. His shot doesn't get all the way through. And the Flyers able to clear the zone. Yandel back for it. Inside 11 minutes remaining here in the second period with the teams tied at two. Rick Nash through center, a little bit too high for Stepan, and the Flyers back in their own zone. Nash and Strike swat for it, and Rick Nash comes away with the puck. Nash left circle, right around for Broussard. Now Dan Boyle off the bench for Broussard. Puts it toward the net, Zuccarello back for it, runs into Dan Boyle, who now takes the puck. Right in the corner for Broussard. Rangers work their cycle game. Puck possession in the offensive zone. 
That one held in as well by Broussard. Rangers doing a good job here, putting pressure on their shift. Yeah, Flyers just, the Rangers, when they get control of the puck in the offensive zone, they continue to move into areas and control the puck. And the Flyers have had a difficult time getting it back and just clearing the zone. That one finally banked off the boards, over the glass, and out of play, so no penalty. 9.51 remaining in the second period. Flyers and Rangers are tied at two. Kings brings us our DraftKings spotlight, and we shine it on J.T. Miller, whose primary assists are four, and he leads the team. His overall assist number of five also leads the team. He's tied for first with three other players with six points, and he's second in hits with 20 as well, and he scored the first Ranger goal tonight. Play daily fantasy hockey on DraftKings.com, the official daily fantasy partner of the New York Rangers. He is on the ice now with Kevin Hayes and Oscar Lindbergh for the face-off to the right of... Steve Mason. Boy, they've got something going too, don't they? Yeah, this is a good chemistry on this line. They win the draw. Yandel's pass, backed off a flyer and all the way down to Henrik Lundqvist. Girardi for Miller, off the boards for Hayes, and now Yandel follows up. Here comes Lindbergh. Lindbergh, off for Miller, back for Lindbergh, chips it right over the crossbar. What pass work by the Rangers. And Lindbergh almost cashed in. All the way from behind their own goal line. Lundqvist gets tied up, his stick, and R.J. Umbergers. The Flyers have the puck. Four players battle for it. Finally, the Rangers able to clear the zone. Marco Gudis. And there's an offside on the play with 8.59 remaining yeah. here in the second. This has been a period where the Rangers have had to puck most of the period. Flyers haven't had nearly as many chances. Here's all the passing. Haste does a nice job just tipping the puck to Yandel. Back and forth, Miller. And then eventually that little chip by Lindbergh just goes over the net. After Michael Delzato tried to pinch in the offensive zone, the Rangers took advantage of that. Michael Delzato leads all Flyers in minutes played on average per game this season. His role has expanded this season. And again, he's one of the few flyer defense that really, you know, really has that mobility. Jake Voracek cutting through. His shot sticked away by Henrik Lundqvist. Good move by Jake Voracek. And a gun off the boards. Stopped by Medvedev. Through center. Voracek right side. Looking for Giroud down the boards. Line for Dominic Moore. Rangers should be able to skate it free. Down the boards for Stahlberg. Trying to use his speed. Gets there first. Now Moore towards it. That one stopped. Rebound is in. But they're waving it off. They will wave it off and call no goal. Jared Stoll went to the net. And probably collided with the goaltender Steve Mason. I, I think that that's what the call is, John. I think they're calling it goaltender interference. And the Rangers will take a look at this. They've got their they've got their iPad and looking at a replay. And the Rangers do a really good job coming out of the zone. Now there's the the initial contact. Let's see again. You now the puck ends up the puck ends up deflecting off the leg of Stoll. Let's see again. Oh, he gets it with his stick, and then it goes off the leg. Wow, that's that's close. I think the I think the Rangers have a pretty good challenge. I think that puck was already deflected off the leg. I'm going to talk about this right now. Let's see if if Elaine Vigneault decides to challenge or not. I think I he think is. They're challenge. I, I, yeah. I think it's a good challenge. You saw associate coach Scott Arneal say something to Elaine Vigneault, who then said what looked to say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to challenge. Yeah. New he, York you know, Rangers are challenging the call on the ice, saying there was no goaltender interference. So now what happens is both referees, even though there's the one referee that was closest to the net, both referees will look at the replay, and they, can, they will discuss it amongst themselves once they see it. And it is their call. It's not the call of the, the people in Toronto. And so 
you know, that particular replay, I think it's a good challenge because when Stoll got the rebound and made contact, Mason will make the save right there. And then it goes off Stoll. I, see, I think that's a good goal. I agree, Joe. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's interference. There it is again. He's there, and it goes off his leg. And it's, a, I mean, there's, there's really not much contact, if any. So there's the, he made, Mason made a very good save. And by the time the puck hit the leg, I think it's already passed him before there's any contact. So it ultimately bounces off Jared Stoll's right leg. Yeah, here it is again. There's no contact. I, I think that's a good goal. I don't think it had anything to do with the with the with the goaltender and and again there wasn't much of a collision. They bumped, but I think the puck had already gone off his right leg and was past him before both Stoll and Mason. And again, it was more just a it wasn't even a collision. It was a little it was somewhat of a bump, but I thought the puck was already past him. But they'll take they'll take another look. And again, it's got to be definitive for the officials down there. You know, they can easily they can easily change their mind. And the one thing about the officials, and I've talked to a lot of them over the years, they are all for video replay in this situation. They are all for it because to a, to an official, they all say the same thing. We just want to make sure we get it right. Get it right. And so they will not be afraid to reverse this because they've wanted this. So what they'll look for. Where the attacking team asserts there was no actual contact of any kind initiated by an attacking player with the goalkeeper, or if the attacking player was pushed, shoved, or fouled by a defending player, causing the attacking player to come into contact with the goalkeeper, or if the attacking player's positioning within the goal crease did not impair the goaltender's ability to defend his goal, and in fact had no discernible impact on the play. If any one of those three elements is fact, then they will overturn it and call it a goal. If the referees determine what they saw with their naked eye is what they see on the replay, then they'll keep it no goal. And again, you've got both both referees discussing this, looking at it. You know, the, the Kelly Sutherland, number 11, you see him making a little move with his arms, like, like maybe he was thinking about the stick the stick of Jared Stoll. But, I, but again, I, I think that the, the puck was already past him after Mason made a heck of a second save with the right pad. And then the puck deflected off the right leg of Jared Stoll. And I, did, I didn't personally think that there was a, you know, any kind of interference that prevented a goal, but let's listen in. Upon video review, the call the ice is confirmed. There is no goal on the play. Okay. New York has forfeited its timeout. So with that, the Rangers lose their ability to take a timeout. So the officials saw the replay, and that's what they determined. So Kelly Sutherland just, he's explaining it to Derek Stepan. So Pac Mara is having a discussion from some distance with Elaine Vigneault. And play resumes with the score till still tied at two. Strike and Schultz on defense for the Flyers as that one is tipped into the Rangers zone. Back for Kevin Klein. Step on, long pass for Nash, left side with speed. Strike there, Nash's shot, stop, rebound. Zuccarello cruising through the crease, not able to get his stick on the puck. Back up on his skate, and he has it now. Step on, bumped off the puck. Zuccarello takes a high hit as he went into the boards with Vandevelde. The battle continues, and it slides all the way down into the Ranger zone. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the second period. Each team with a goal, Rangers challenged. A waved off goal in the crease when Jarrett stole. Had some contact with the goaltender, Steve Mason. The call I, was upheld, and yeah, it's still 2-2. I still, I still personally don't like it. I, I didn't think it had anything to do with, with Mason and his ability to keep the puck out of the net. 
That one flipped over the glass and out of play with 7.05 remaining here in the second. The upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Right back on the ice tomorrow night at the Garden against the Calgary Flames. Then the Rangers will have four days off before they resume play Friday against the Maple Leafs, also at the Garden, and then the following Tuesday against the Washington Capitals. All games start at 7. Lisa Rangers game night begins a half hour before each game on MSG. How about the Anaheim Ducks, the team that a lot of people thought were favored to win the Stanley Cup? They are now 1-5-1 and one after losing again tonight. Wow, nice shutout in Minnesota, 3-0. That one toward the net. Lundquist held his left pad at the post. Here's Gudis, right point. His shot sails high and wide. Yeah, they had nine shots on goal in Minnesota through two periods. Kreider, cross ice, open ice for Klein. Now Jesper Foss toward the net. Mason able to go down to his knees and cover up with six minutes and 28 seconds remaining here in the second period. Well, get your blue and orange on. Individual tickets are available for Knicks opening night. It's on Thursday, October 29th against the Atlanta Hawks. Visit nyknicks.com for great seats for Knicks basketball. Anaheim's played seven games now. They've scored six goals. Getzlaff, zero goals. Corey Perry, zero goals. Brian Kessler, zero goals. Might we see a second coaching boy, change within boy. a week within the first month of the season. That's a team that has not had any trouble at all scoring goals the last number of years. Right here, face off to the left of Steve Mason. Rangers have outshot the Flyers 11-7 here in the second. 24-19 overall. Shots on goal, but the game tied at two. Play by Hayes while on the ground, on the ice, able to get that puck into open ice. Now here comes Sam Gagne. That is the pass down low. Matt Reed behind the net in front. Gagne not able to get his stick there. And now Kevin Hayes will skate it clear. Hayes goes right side. Medvedev watches him. Cross ice for Yandel. Holds it in at the blue line. Yandel cross ice and that pass in a dangerous area. Flyers can have an odd man rush. Three on two. Here's Reed. Drops it off for Gagne. Gagne's shot stopped in front. Never got to Henrik Lundqvist. And JT Miller wheels it the other way. Miller right side. Straight is there. And now Gagne through center flips it in. Coming up on five and a half minutes remaining here in the second period. A goal for each team in each period. We're tied at two. Stall around the boards. Dominic Moore can't hold it in at the blue line, so he will retreat to the neutral zone. The Rangers have had much more control of this period than they did the first. The first was more evenly played. The Rangers have certainly had the edge of play in this one. But the score still remains a 2-2 game. With speed through center is Scott Lawton. His shot stopped by Lundqvist. Held his ground, made the save. Lawton right back to the puck. Spins, tries to put one in front. Now behind the net. Stuff try, not successful, but only to the point. Here's Gudis, has some room. His shot, kick, save. Lundqvist without a stick, was able to kick out the right pad. And then that rebound sails over the glass and out of play. 439 remaining here in the second period. The Rangers thought maybe they had one, but yep, the reactions say it all. It's still 2-2. 2-2, Elaine Vigneault's team has done a much better job controlling the puck here in this second period. It's been a good hockey game. Back and forth. Both teams trying to stay out of the penalty box. The only two power plays in this game have gone to the Rangers, and the Rangers took advantage of the second one, scoring the goal. Derek Broussard tying the game. A little bit of a delay here as Scott Driscoll has some words with Derek Stepan before this face-off to the right of Henrik Lundqvist. Flyers win the draw. Toward the net. Hits off Vandevelde. They go to the corner. Belmar winds it around. To the point for Gudis. Marco Gudis winds it deep. Sharp angle shot by White. Lundqvist might have caught a piece of it, but here comes Zuccarello the other way. And Zuccarello pulls up, waits, open ice, takes the shot, now down low. Mason able to make the save with Rick Nash looking for a redirection. Vandevelde chips in. 
and goes after Kevin Klein. Give away inside the Ranger zone. Strike down the boards. There's Voracek. Check by Klein. Back to the point. Strike. Winds and fires. That one deflects off Kevin Klein, who was cruising through the low slot. Now Shen. Deep for Giroud. Now Schultz down low all the way through the crease. Flyers with some sustained pressure in the Ranger zone. Voracek. All the way across. Can Zuccarello get there first? He does. Chips it back to center. 325 remaining here in the second period. Score tied at two. McDonough's pass deflects in front. Shen almost had an opportunity, but instead, again, Zuccarello backhands. Rangers will go for a change. As Stepan and Zuccarello head to the bench. Girardi to the puck. Girardi and McDonough on defense at the moment. That pass from Broussard intercepted. Flyers keep it in the zone. Good play there, though, to get the puck out of the zone by Kreider. Rangers continue on. Here's Jesper Foss left side toward the net, and Broussard looked to redirect. Just missed it. Kreider along the boards. Battles with Gagne. Now the Flyers will look to break. Here's Gagne with Girardi back. Gagne had it slide off his stick. And now Broussard through center. Rangers have a three on two. Broussard for Yandel. Keith Yandel's shot deflects away. Now Lindbergh puts it toward net. Here's Medvedev behind. 220 remaining here in the second. Scott Lawton through center. Tipped ahead by Matt Reed, and the Flyers will go for a change as Stahl goes for the puck. Here comes Stahl through center. Chased his own puck to the corner along with Delzato. To the point for Miller. Now Lindbergh toward the net. That one sails wide. Hayes winds around. And it looks like it went out of play with a minute 54 remaining here in the second period. Stay in the game. Download the official New York Rangers app to enjoy live game stats, enhanced calendars, breaking news, and plenty more. Okay, an explanation now on the on the non-goal that was challenged by Elaine Vigno. Uh, interference on the goalkeeper that after reviewing all available replays and consulting with NHL hockey operations staff, the referee confirmed that New York's Jared Stoll made incidental contact with Steve Mason before the puck crossed the goal line, preventing Mason from doing his job. That was their uh, interpretation. That was an interpretation, and so that's why it stands on oh, Nash sailed one just wide as he had an opening down the left side. Just missed that post. Now Zuccarello toward the net, blocked in front. Flyers look to break out, two on two. Girardi back for it. Belmar rides him to the boards. Now White to strike. His shot block doesn't get through, and the Rangers look to start out. Step on through center for Nash. Cross ice for Zuccarello. Ryan White the only one there. Hands it off, and here's Giroux. His shot stopped by McDonough, who held his ground, and it calmly slides to Henrik Lundqvist, who holds on. And we have not received any further word regarding the situation with Michael Roffel, who left earlier in the period. And so that top line for Philadelphia has had a number of different left wings to fill in for Roffel. So as soon as we hear something on his condition, we will pass it on. Face off inside the Ranger zone. Dominic Moore, Claude Giroux on the draw. With a minute 12 remaining here in the second. Couple quick passes and the Rangers clear the zone. Oh, Stahlberg was stood up and knocked down. No penalty on the uh, play. It was Gudas. He was getting some pressure. He didn't see Gudas coming from the side. And this this will be interesting to take a look to yeah. see if Gudas got got him in the head. Gudas is a tough physical defenseman. And there goes Stahlberg. Stahlberg was very slow to get up. Oh. Shoulder to the head. I, I thought he got him in the head. As Stoll and, continues and to Stoll talk is, to Gudis. Yeah, Let's take a look. There it is again. 
Oh, there's no question. He got him right in the jaw. And while all that was going on, Chris Pryor got an interference penalty. Yeah, here it is. Stahlberg was getting... Now the question, you know, the question, what they'll look at is did he make contact with any part of the body first or was it right on the head? It's hard to tell. His, his elbow was down. He, he, he didn't have his elbow up. And meanwhile, there's the penalty on Chris Kreider for interference. So this is the Flyers' first power play of the game. With 52.7 seconds remaining here in the second period. Rangers have more to take the face off. Jesper Foss to help kill the penalty as well. Girardi and McDonough. Here's Mark Streit looking for an opening. That was shot toward the net. Stopped on the rebound just wide. Oh, Shen had a glorious opportunity alone in front and missed. Cross ice for Voracek. Now Streit. Looking down low. Opportunity for Simmons. Good play by McDonough, who took the passing lane away. Boy, what a play. What a play. Simmons is so dangerous around the front of the net. He led the Flyers in power play goals a season ago with 14. And McDonough made a sparkling play there. Flyers quickly back into the zone in the final 10 seconds. Voracek using his speed. Wide open in front of Giroux. He hit the post. The rebound stays out twice. And the Rangers able to clear it to safety in the final seconds. Finally cleared by Stepan, and the period will end with the score barely tied. I think Simmons hit the post as well. The backhand shot from Giroux goes high. I think it went off the crossbar or post, and then Simmons had a chance on the, on the short side, and the Rangers find a way to keep it out of their net. 2-2 Two -two going into the third. Voracek with the move, and then right through everyone, a little deflection, and then there's a backhand. Who got a piece of that? Was it Klein, or was it Lundquist here? Or a stick, or both? Great effort by Stahl, twice, to keep it out of the net. And then Girardi swats it out of midair to get it to safety as the period expired. Coming up on the New York Lottery Intermission Report, Dave will be joined by Derek Brassard. Bill Pito will take you around the NHL with the Audi MSG 150. And Steve Aliquette and Ron Duguay will share their thoughts on a very eventful second period. It's all coming up on the New York Lottery Intermission Report. That goal was disallowed, and the Rangers held their breath at the end of the period. It's 2-2 after 2. Welcome back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, getting ready for the start of the third period. Rangers and Flyers are tied at two. New York Rangers hockey is presented by Chase. As the teams are coming back on the ice for the start of the third period, Elaine Vigneault was seeking an explanation and giving some of his own to the officials after a, a, two calls, the no-goal call against Jared Stoll and also the hit that knocked Victor Stahlberg out of the game. Let's get some more information about the goal from Dave Maloney. Talk to the coaches. Well, a couple of things. Boy, there's a lot went on in that period. Of course, the goal, according to the Rangers, what they were told, it's really the positioning of Jared Stoll's stick. Does it allow, does it allow the goaltender's glove to be part of the play? So we're going to take a look here. Now, Stahl's stick gets caught up in the glove of the goaltender. The Rangers' argument is, well, the puck was on the ice, his glove was not a factor in the play. But that was the interpretation and the ruling according to what the uh, Rangers coaching staff heard from the team. As far as the Flyers, Scott O'Neill told me, the Flyers are playing a much quicker game than they've ever played. It's not that they're fast, but it's just the puck's moving more quickly. They think they're more vulnerable in the defensive zone. They need to play in there. Victor Stahlberg will not return. So, we head into the third period. Lots went on in the second. The Rangers need to find a goal, guys. For sure, Dave, thanks for the info. 53 seconds remaining on the penalty to Kreider toward the net. That went all the way through as Voracek was cruising through the crease and Jesper Faust able to clear it all the way down. Faust heads to the bench, Dominic Moore on Mark Streit. Streit through the neutral zone for Wayne Simmons right side. McDonough watches him. Simmons for Giroux and his shot sails wide. Now Simmons down low along the boards. Kevin Klein after him, up the boards, hits off Nash, back to the point for Strike. His shot through traffic stops, six day by Lundquist. 
Now Shen goes cross ice, some open room. There Shen tries to slide it through with Lundquist down on his back. Not able to do it. Boy, a shot that was passed up by Borchek. He had a great chance to shoot. Again all the way through, and now Kreider out of the box is going to pick up the puck and go down on a three on two. Here's Nash. Nash's shot stopped. The rebound across through. Step on and then right through the crease was Nash. He had an open net, and he sailed it wide. I'm wondering if Mark Strike might have gotten a piece of that Nash shot. Boy, he had a good foot or so on the short side. Puck was or seemed to be on edge. So the Rangers kill off the penalty and nearly scored one their own here early in the third. Yandel for Broussard. Deflected ahead for Zuccarello, and now Broussard through center. He'll put it into the flyer zone. Zuccarello will go for it. The Rangers will change up both Broussard and Kreider. Hayes and Lindbergh on the ice. Zuccarello will go to the bench. Miller will jump on as R.J. Umberger carries it into the zone. Cross ice for Reed. Now Reed pulls up. To the point, that shot through traffic, stopped by Lundqvist, the rebound, Lundqvist makes that save and another, and covers up. I'm not sure if he saw the first shot come through, but he stopped that one, but the second one, he put himself in real good position to make the save. And meanwhile, here's Kreider, comes out of the penalty box, little drop pass to Nash, blocked, and then this one, save, and then there's that, it looked like it, looked like it hit strike in the left leg and deflected wide and then down the other end traffic in front long shot through Lunkus boy oh boy that's a good save see all that all those bodies in front of Lundquist and he kept his positioning and made a good second save face off to Lundquist's right Belmar and Stoll on the draw controlled by the Rangers Flyers had four shots on goal on that power play. Not able to convert. Dominic Moore picks up the puck. Battles along the boards. Spins away. Now tries to take it toward the net. He does and stopped by Mason. And he gets pushed into the crease by Manning. Play continues. Good play by Dominic Moore. Yeah, was it ever. Real strong move. Now Jesper Foss sails it just wide off the pass from Stoll. So Faust on this line, where Victor Stahlberg normally would be. Faust toward the net. That one steered clear, and the Flyers will start it out. Van de Velde through center. And Mark Stahl backs it up. Stahl and Boyle on defense for the Rangers. Stahl's pass to flex off the skate. R.J. Umberger right back into the zone. Nash to him. Toward the net. That one deflected by Lundqvist. Zuccarello starts it out for Nash. Rick Nash right side. With speed toward the net, tries to feather a pass for Stepan. That one got deflected away. Nash right back to it. Now Stepan for Nash. Watch that stick in the legs. Cross for Girardi. Toward the net, deflected, doesn't get all the way through. But the board, Simmons able to chip it to center. Played a little more than three and a half minutes here in the third period. Teams are tied at two. Zuccarello deflects it in right into the glove of Steve Mason, and he will hang on with 16 minutes and 15 seconds remaining here in the third. Well, tonight at 10.30 on MSG, you can join Al Troutwick, Steve Valiquette, E.J. Raddick, and John McClain. They will take you around the NHL on an all-new edition of Hockey Night Live presented by GEICO. It's tonight at 10.30 right here on MSG. Face-off win for the Rangers, immediate shot. Deflects away. Caught Michael Delzato in the foot. Back for it, Ryan McDonough. Backhand into center, and Gudas puts it right back in. Shen after it. Center. Deflects to the corner where Kreider collects. And he can't clear the zone. Voracek tried to kick it down. Instead, he kicked it into the Rangers bench, and there's no further play. Yeah, you almost get the feeling that these two teams, the way they the way they played this game, I mean, they they really tried hard to stay disciplined on both sides. Uh, you have Simmons, who we know plays with a real edge to his game, but he hasn't gone over the edge. 
He's been there and hasn't gone over the edge. So Dave Hextall, the Flyers coach, has got them to play a more aggressive style, a faster style, as Dave was talking about after talking to Scott Arneal. And yet, they don't, they're not committing the types of errors that we've seen Flyer teams commit in the past. Yeah, just two power plays for the Rangers, only one for Philadelphia so far. Battle in the corner, Stahl and Simmons. Rangers come away with the puck. Here's JT Miller. Calmly chips it back to center. And that's not to say they played a passive game. They haven't. They've, the Flyers have played a, they've played a physical game. They've just played a, a smarter game. Lundqvist went to cover up and got the whistle. Let's go downstairs between the benches, Dave. Well, it is early, but the first couple of rotations through the lineup here, it has been Jesper Fast. Now we see Chris Kreider come out with Stahl and Moore. So uh, Jesper Fast fellas doubled up early and Kreider out now. So they'll have to make some adjustments now with just 11 forwards. And, you know, when you listen to the staff and watch this team play, it's so important that they have 12 guys involved in to establish the pace. But without Stahlberg moving bodies around here early in the third, guys. The Flyers have done the same thing since Michael Roffel left the game early in the second period. Flyers' official word is that Roffel won't return with an upper body injury. We saw a frightening moment on the bench as he was carried off the bench earlier. Here's Giroux. Drops it off for Voracek. Back for Giroux in the corner, watched by McDonough. The help from Dominic Morin and the Rangers will skid it out. Here's Klein. Four join the rush. Here's Stoll right side. Slap shot toward goal. Stopped by Steve Mason, who traps it in the body and glove and holds on. That's a good job by Mason. They're the Rangers, again, we've seen this throughout this game where they've been able to make a defensive zone play, like from the top of the circles, force the Flyers, and then the Flyers are so aggressive that we've seen the Rangers. This was another one that turned into a four-on-two for the Rangers with Jared Stoll getting the shot, but Mason did a good job not allowing a rebound. Derek Stepan will take the face off. And he wins it. Zuccarello quick shot. Juggled and held by Mason. He goes down to his knees and gloves it. You know, you can just see Derek Stepan, uh, you know, a player that he, he's not playing poorly. He's got, he's lost a little bit of his edge, and I think it's because of lack of energy more than anything. I mean, down 10 pounds, not able to eat any solid food. Great face off play and a shot by Yandel, stopped by Mason with the blocker. Terrific pass from Zuccarello to Yandel, who had a wide open opportunity down the left side. Here's Zuccarello, double team. And that was Stepan that won the faceoff cleanly. Here's Stepan again. Yandel able to put it right back into the flyer zone. Rangers will touch up and play will continue. It's been a gutsy performance by Derek Stepan. Through center, Belmont puts it into the corner. Round around by White. Now down the slot, there's Del Zotto, but Mark Stahl went down, so did Belmar, and that shot deflected off them. Here's Del Zotto again, toward the net again, and hits a flyer in front. White right back to the puck. Slap shot by Gudis, stopped by Lundqvist, who was able to see it go to his knees and trap and hold on. Yeah, the Rangers nearly took the lead off a faceoff in the Philadelphia zone as White took quite the beating in front from Mark Stahl. Here's the, the chance. Winning faceoff by Stepan. Zuccarello, the quick pass across to Yandel. The timing of that was excellent. And then watch White. First he gets hit with the puck, and then he gets hit by Stahl and knocked to the ice. That's why he was slow to to get to the to the Flyers bench. And when he got to the bench, he headed straight for the dressing room. So now the Flyers are down two forwards with 14.06 remaining here in the third. The face off to the left of Henrik Lundqvist. Reed and Moore on the draw. Dominic Moore wins it. Foss dumps it in. Jared Stoll after it. Bumps with Medvedev. Two Rangers, one Flyer, and now Philly able to skate it clear. Humberger through center. Karam's off Boyle. But right back on Matt Reed's stick. Humberger tries to make a move, but Yandel got his stick in the way. Now Scott Lawton chips it in. Behind the net, Boyle takes a bump, but still has the puck. Handed out of the zone, and here's Jesper Foss. Rangers look to go three on two. That one deflected by Lawton. 
and he's able to clear the zone. Rangers are making a change, so only Jesper Foss touches the puck. The other three forwards waited until their players were off the ice. Flyers back in the zone. That slap shot. Blocker saved by Lundqvist as Mark Streit wound up. Now some open ice the other way. Here's Kevin Hayes. Makes a spin move. Taken down, and there'll be a penalty call. So the Flyers take a penalty as Kevin Hayes was hooked in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So the Rangers will go on a power play with 13.03 remaining in the third. The Flyer fans don't like it, but here's the call on Shen. Rangers to the power play. Cold hard backs are brought to you by Frost Brood, Coors Light. How about this from Henrik Lundqvist? He's made 29 saves. He'll figure to make one more. The last eight games that he has had to make 30 or more saves, he's won them all. His goals against minuscule and his save percentage, crazy good. So Braden Shen in the box, an important moment in the game here. The Rangers go to their third power play of the night. They're one for two. They win the draw. Here's McDonough. Slap shot. Sails wide. Stick side of Steve Mason. J.T. Miller overskated that one, and it's all the way down into the Rangers' zone. Lundqvist comes out, deflects it to the corner, and Ryan McDonough picks it up. Rangers have scored a power play goal in three consecutive games, including tonight's Derek Broussard goal. Here he is with the puck. Broussard for Miller. Quick cross ice, and that one deflected away. Good play by Belmar. The Rangers retreat with a minute 25 remaining in the power play. Kevin Hayes. Back for McDonough. Ryan McDonough weaves his way through, but the puck slides a little too far ahead of him, and the Flyer is able to clear it all the way down. Home crowd encouraging their penalty killers as we come up on the halfway point of this Ranger power play. Here's Keith Yandel through center. With speed left side, winds it all the way around. And White back on the ice. Dan Boyle. Now left side for Nash. Down low Zuccarello. Back to the point for Yandel. Yandel swings it back for Zuccarello. Fans on the shot. Nash gets the puck. Back for Yandel. Now right side, or left side rather, for Boyle, and he fanned on the shot. Flyers able to clear it down with 27 seconds remaining in the penalty. Now the, the Rangers are making the plays they want when they get it in the zone, and that's to bring it to one side, throw it back to the weak side where there's plenty of room. But once it's gone back to that weak side, then they haven't been able to continue the play. And that's an icing call against the Rangers. Face off, back down the other end. And there you see how Matt Zuccarello feels about that call. Sixteen seconds remaining on the penalty to Braden Shen. 11-19 left in the third. Still tied at two. L.A. Vigneo wants a change. That's the signal he gave to the players on the ice. Flyers win the faceoff. Yango backs it up for Boyle. Final seconds of the penalty to Braden Shen. Foss backhands it ahead. Shen out of the penalty box. Rangers did not get a shot on goal during that penalty during that power play as the Flyers are whistled for offside. 10.57 remaining here in the third. Well, Rangers Town limited individual tickets available for tomorrow's game against the Calgary Flames. For great seats, be sure to visit NewYorkRangers.com. Yeah, the, that power play for the Rangers, they did, they did pass the puck well. They are poor passing throughout, and that's, and that's why they didn't. They weren't able to generate any shots on goal. Even when they had good control, the next pass was not good. Girardi quickly up the boards, and Jesper Foss chips it to center. And Simmons tips it right back in, and he goes after Dan Girardi and the puck. Ball quickly for Foss, but it eludes him. Flyers keep it in the zone. Flip it down the boards, takes a strange bounce off the stanchion. The Rangers able to get it to safety. Here comes Foss right side. He's got Stoll ahead of him. Foss taken out of the play by Medvedev, and the Flyers go the other way. Simmons with a drop pass for Gagne. Uh, it was offside. Yeah. No, offside. What happened was the the linesman that was closest to the play right. waved it off. I thought it was an offside, 
And obviously Stoll and Simmons come together and push, and I believe then it was the far linesman that made the delayed call. See, he's, he's offside and then throws the puck back over. If he would have held on to the puck and carried it over the blue line before his teammates, then that would have been a legal play. The linesman Scott Driscoll and Matt McPherson got together and discussed it. They got it right, ultimately, and the face off of the neutral zone. Gudis around the boards. Klein stops it, back behind the net. McDonough keeps it going that way. Oscar Lindbergh uses his body to shield. And the Rangers start out. Gudis in the corner, gives it away to Klein. His shot stopped by Mason, wasn't sure where it was. Puck batted down and play continues. Here's Hayes back in inside his own zone. And Hayes has just been a better player since he's been moved back to center. Uh, he's had the puck more, he's controlled more of the pace of the game. He just looks like he's back in his comfort zone. Shots are 32 apiece, goals are two apiece. Neutral zone turnover, yes for Fost. Looks to find Broussard, gets his feet taken out from under it. Now here's Fost. Tries to find Kreider, got caught up in his skates. And Michael Delzato back in his own zone. Nine minutes and ten seconds remaining here in the third. Left side, Lawton, his shot. Loved by Hendrik Lundqvist, who will hold on and stop play. A bit of a battle in front. With 9.06 remaining in the third. Rangers and Flyers remain tied at two. Time to answer our Cadillac trivia question prior to Dave Hackstoll, who was the last head coach to go directly from the NCAA to the NHL. Joe? That's a tough one. I was thinking Andy Murray, but that might have been high school to I'm the NHL. Go Badger Bob. Oh, okay. That's Let's see excellent. if I'm right. yeah. There you go. Nice job. From Wisconsin to the Calgary Flames yeah. more than 30 years ago. Nice. Uh, very well done, John. I might have said that on the preseason game earlier this year. Oh, you stuff did? like that just sticks with me. Yeah. Then you cheated. Slightly. Saved by Lundquist with his right arm. It wasn't that good a job by you then. <laughs> you still got it right. <laughs> that you did. White back on the ice, battles for the puck and comes away with it. And White down the boards. Van de Velde. Stand on his pass partially, and that allows Rick Nash to pick it up and go left side. Flips it into the zone. Step on there as well. Belmar out of the zone. Here's Van de Velde into the Ranger zone. Watched by both Nash and Stahl, and the Rangers have the puck. Here's Dan Boyle through center. Ryder will go back the other way for Boyle. Less than eight and a half minutes remaining here in the third. That puck centered. Knocked down by Zuccarello. Stays in the zone for Stahl. Zuccarello toward the net. Steve Mason got his body in the way. The pinch allows the Rangers to keep it in the zone. Stepan has his shot. Stick checked away and through center. The Flyers look for a break, but Giroux's pass off the mark. Right back in it goes as the battle ensues behind the play. Guters takes a punch from Zuccarello. Play continues. There's Shen. He has it intercepted by Klein. Quickly, Kevin Klein back into the zone. Tries to find a teammate. And that one all the way through. Klein chases it down in the corner. Jesper Foss with the puck. Centers. It's in the crease and swept away. Ryder again looking for Broussard. That one up the boards. Back to center for McDonough. Now Kevin Klein right back in. Steve Mason gloves it. And he will hold on with seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third. Well, we're going to take a look at our Buick RoboCam. And remember the hit in the second period where Gudis knocked out Stahlberg. And there's Gudis comes up with a hard hit on Stepan. And there's Zuccarello. And I'll tell you what, those players, they're still not happy with Gudis and his hit. It was a dirty hit. Not sure if he made head contact first, but he hit a guy that was in a defenseless position. 
The RoboCam replay is brought to you by the new Buick. Buick, your kind of luxury. Now, in Philadelphia, faced something last game in Boston where Ronaldo, their former Flyer player that plays for the Bruins, with the same type of hit similar to on uh, Sean Couturier. And Couturier, Couturier had to leave the game with a head injury, and his, uh, or an upper body injury, as they say, and is not playing in this game. Matt Reed banks it off the boards and down behind Henrik Lundqvist. Oscar Lindbergh can't clear the zone, but now it comes back to center. Here's Wayne Simmons. Backhand cross-ice pass for Reed, who steps it into the Ranger zone. Lundqvist stops it. Tangled up a little bit with Keith Yandel. The Flyers take the puck. There's Reed, but JT Miller got in the way. And now Yandel. Here come the Rangers with Oscar Lindbergh. Off for Miller. Cross ice it goes, and that one deflected away and allows Wayne Simmons to skate it out. Takes his time, dumps it in the zone, and goes for a change. Boyle has his pocket pitch right out in front. What a stop by Long Twist. Scramble for the loose puck. Rangers able to clear it, but only to the point. Delzato winds and fires. Long push with the save again. And he is able to cover up all dangerous moments after a giveaway behind the Ranger net. But Henrik Lundqvist saves the moment. Dan Boyle had time, but he got the puck stripped from him. And the Flyers turned that into at least a couple of real good scoring chances. There's the move by Boyle. Tried to make a move instead of moving the puck. Ends up in front. Lundqvist with a couple of saves there. The pressure continues by the Flyers. That one gets redirected on the way in, and Lundqvist able to make that save as well. Now 34 saves for Lundqvist. Off the faceoff, here's Voracek behind the net. Back to the point, now across for Delzato. On the boards, McDonough run hard. Rangers take the puck, and now Kevin Klein skates it out. On dumps it in, Steve Mason grabs it and holds on with 5.54 remaining in the third. Rangers and Flyers tied at two. To the game are brought to you by GMC. See the pros nearest you to test drive one of their award-winning trucks, crossovers, or SUVs today. GMC, we are professional grade. Mark Streit opened the scoring, his second of the year, four points in his last two. J.T. Miller answered with his first of the season. And after the Flyers took the lead, Derek Broussard scored his second, also on the power play. And that's where we stand right now, 2-2, inside the final six minutes of regulation time. Face-off to the right of Steve Mason. Zuccarello puts it right on goal off the face-off, and a blocker saved by Mason. Vandevelde skates it. Now Belmar. Third step on with the puck, and the Rangers will start out. Yandel through center. His shot just wide, and it bounces awkwardly toward Mason. Can't corral the puck. It's still loose. Schultz and Zuccarello after it. Now Streit is there. Streit through center into the Ranger zone. Pulls it back, takes a wrist shot, deflects over the glass, and out of play with five minutes and 19 seconds remaining here in the third. Well, after the game, get post-game reaction from the locker room, plus highlights and analysis. It's all coming up on the Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game show immediately following the action from here in Philadelphia. Shots are 36-34 in favor of the Flyers. Philly has an 11-7 shots on goal advantage here in the third. They have an offensive zone face-off. Jared Stoll wins it from Claude Giroux. Stoll was 6-0 through two periods on the face-off. And he was out there strictly for the draw and then makes a change. Shen for Voracek. He puts it toward the net. Through traffic, Lundqvist able to make the save and then Derek Broussard helps him cover up. And Stoll comes right back on the ice. He didn't even get a chance to sit down. He got to the bench. Before he sat down, there was a whistle. He turns, comes right back on the ice. Derek Broussard goes off and so... Jared Stoll will be asked to try and win this face off again. Let's see, this time it'll be against Gagne. And Stoll 9 and 1 on faceoffs in the game. 
Gagne won the draw, but it was too hard. Past Medvedev and all the way back down to Steve Mason. Leaves for Medvedev. Off the boards for Matt Reed. Taken away by Boyle, put back in the flyer zone. Now to center for Gagne. Down the boards, here's Simmons shot just wide as he thought he had the angle, but cut it a little too sharp and sailed it wide of Henrik Lundqvist's stick side. Delzato in his own zone. Four and a half minutes remaining here in the third. Delzato waiting for a line change. And he gets an opening for Shen. His shot gets saved by Lundqvist. And what opened up, Shen came off the bench. And the Rangers' defense was also changing, and that's what—that's why Shen was open through the middle of the ice, and Delzato found him. Miller with a hard push on Delzato into the boards. Through a roar from the crowd, but we play on as Delzato holds behind his own net inside the final four minutes here in the third. Delzato calmly off the boards for Kevin Klein in the neutral zone. Looked like JT Miller caught a high stick or something in the face. He gestured, but he plays on. Tipped ahead by Vandevelde. Onside. Lundqvist winds it around, but only the Flyers there. That's a clutch and stop. The rebound saved as well. How about those saves? And now the Rangers will be penalized. The play started with Lundqvist going behind the net to play the puck. The Flyers anticipated him moving it around the boards. And he had to get back into position. And he made one save with the glove hand. There you see the Flyer player there. And quickly in front. Glove hand, right pad. Stick down as well. Two excellent saves. And then JT Miller tries to clear it. There's one. And here's the other by Lundquist to keep this game tied. Miller then tries to clear the zone and goes up and over the glass. And that's the penalty. So with 3.25 remaining in the third, JT Miller sits in the box. Flyers go to their second power play. They had four shots in the first, but did not succeed. The Rangers have Dominic Moore and Jared Stoll with McDonough and Girardi to kill the first part of this penalty. Stoll will take the face off. Giroux wins it cleanly. Gets an opportunity to shoot. It's knocked down by Girardi. Mark Strike can't keep it in. That bounced right over his stick. Flyers did give up a shorthanded goal against Boston. Their last game. McDonough around his own net. Up the boards. Only Giroux is there. Giroux for Simmons. He keeps it going for Voracek. They also have Shannon Strike on the ice. Here's Giroux for Strike. Looks for a shooting lane, doesn't have one, gives off for Giroud. Left half boards. Well, Giroud goes cross ice, that pass deflected. Voracek toward the net, that one wide. Giroud back for Strike. Cross ice Voracek. Strike again, and now Giroud. A diving play by Jesper Foss. Puck still in the Rangers' zone. Strike with Simmons parked in front of Lundqvist. Giroud, that shot stopped as Shen got his shot. Deflected away by Lundqvist's stick. Still in the ranger zone. 55 seconds remaining on the penalty to Miller. Here's Giroux. Down low for Simmons. Two Rangers go after him. Ranger penalty killers have been in the zone the entire time. To the point for Strike. Across for Voracek. Back for Strike. Now Giroux. Shot stopped by Girardi. And clear. Boy, what an effort. Girardi can hardly get off the ice. That was a long stretch, as you mentioned, John, in their own zone of stopping and starting and trying to stay in position, and eventually the block of the shot and the diving clear by Moore. Medvedev steers it in. Stall back for it. Umberger on him. Stall and Umberger continue the battle with 15 seconds remaining in Miller's penalty. Stall still there. Round around, and Medvedev at the left point. Denny Medvedev goes cross ice. That shot toward the net doesn't get through. Stall was there. It looked like he caught it off the left foot. He is hobbling to the bench as JT Miller comes out of the penalty box and the Rangers kill off the flyer power play. Delzato banks it off the boards. Yandel there for it. 
Calm little pass. Zuccarello couldn't handle it. Flyers keep it in the zone. A minute five remaining in regulation time. Flyer fans wanted a penalty as White and Yandel came together. Now the Rangers start out. Here's Broussard. Tries to feather a pass through. Kreider a little bit too deep. Kreider puts it back in front. Flyers are there. Flip through center with 45 seconds remaining. Yandel back for it. Keith Yandel in his own zone. Here's Kreider left side. Gains the red line. Can't clear it in because it actually Flyers, went off the line. Flyers had too many men on the ice. They got away with one. Now Klein hands it off for Lindbergh. 25 seconds remaining. Lindbergh for Hayes. Kevin Hayes shoots short side at deflected wide. Miller up the boards. Here's McDonough. Ryan McDonough toward the net. Stopped and held by Steve Mason as Hayes was taken down in front with 15.3 seconds left. Well, the Flyers had excellent control of the puck on the power play. And here's that shot that Lundquist just gets a piece of. That was by Brayton Shen. Gets a piece of it. Look at the post. There, just to flex it with the stick. And then off the post and into the corner. So with 15.3 remaining, the Rangers send out Derek Stepan for an offensive zone draw. Stepan wins the faceoff. Can Nash keep it in the zone? He does, but only for the moment. Flyers come the other way. Rangers have four back. It's wound around the boards. Final seconds. That one put toward Lundqvist and wide. Lundqvist lost his stick. One final opportunity. A kick saved by Lundqvist, who didn't have his stick, but is able to make the stop as the buzzer sounds, and we are done with regulation. Wow. Henrik Lundqvist able to salvage the save without the stick, and we will go to three-on-three -three overtime when we come back. After 60, the Rangers and Flyers tied at two. Welcome to the New York Life Overtime Report. New York Life Insurance Company, keep good going. Each team scored once in the first, and then once in the second, and here's how we got here, Joe. Well, Mark Strike gave the Flyers the initial lead. Good fork checking job by the Flyers. Eventually, this shot, it gets deflected by Stahlberg, hits him in the glove and gets past Lundqvist. That made it one nothing. And then the, the Rangers come back. First goal of the year for JT Miller. He bangs it in. We've got a tie game. And then the Flyers again, one more time. Giveaway there, and Lott with his first of the season. Makes it 2-1, and then the Rangers on the power play. This shot is deflected on the way in. Broussard credited for the power play goal, and that's where we stand. And Henrik Lundqvist has made 41 saves, maybe none more important than the one he made in the final seconds of regulation. Yeah, without a stick. There were just seconds winding down. That shot goes wide. He loses his stick as he and Yando collide and then has to throw out the right leg to make one final regulation save. This has been a heck of a hockey game. It really has. The goaltending has been excellent. There's been good flow. There's been good intensity. Seen a little bit of everything in this game. Very well played game. And star power to start the overtime. Giroud, Voracek, and Strike for the Flyers. Step on Nash and McDonough for the Rangers. Rangers 0-1 in the three-on-three -three overtime, losing to the Devils. The Flyers 1-1. One one. Here's an opportunity in front. And that one slides through as Nash was looking for McDonough. Ryan McDonough with the puck for Stepan. Stepan tries to put one toward goal. It's knocked away by Strite, and now the Flyers will take their turn. Across for Giroux. Giroux down the slot, and that shot stopped by Lundqvist with a blocker. Now the Rangers look to go the other way. McDonough's going to have to get there first. He cancels out with Voracek. Rangers into the zone with Stepan. Now off for Zuccarello. His shot blocker saved by Mason. Giroux has been on the ice for 43 seconds. Continues with the puck. Dumps it in the zone. He'll go to the bench. McDonough has been on the ice the entire time. Broussard and Zuccarello are there as well. Derek Broussard back into his own zone. Flyers have Simmons. Delzato on the ice as well. Hands it off for Zuccarello. Simmons there as well. Zuccarello tries to work on Simmons. Pulls him up. Puts on the brakes. Lost balance. And then the Flyers take the puck. Matt Reed for Simmons. Delzato is with him. Way ahead of the play. And he is whistled for an offside. We played a minute 17 of overtime. 
Uh, you got both teams, especially this three on three. You try so hard to get an edge, and Delzato was thinking that Simmons saw him flying down the left wing board. Simmons did not. And that's the offside. So now Kevin Hayes on the ice for the Rangers to take this face off. Kreider there as well with Kevin Klein. He backs it up into the Rangers zone where Klein can collect. Here comes Hayes, weaving out of his own zone through center and now into the flyer zone. But it's taken away by Belmar. Flyers look to go the other way. Vandevelde pulls up. Finds Medvedev, his shot stopped by Lundqvist, who's out on top of his crease, able to see it and hold on. And he really considered dropping the puck to try and keep possession, which is so important in these three-on-threes, but looked up and saw the flyer player right there and elected just to hold on for the face-off, and both teams make a change. The Rangers get Stefan Nash and Boyle on the ice. Claude Giroux, Mark Strike. Jake Voracek right back out for the Flyers, and that face-off won by Philly, but it clears the zone. Strike will back it up all the way behind his own goal. Take a little bit more time, look for an opening. Banks it off the boards, here's Giroux. Two Rangers back, two Flyers ahead. Here's Giroux. Tries to go one-on-one -on, -one on Stefan, he does, all the way through, and Lundqvist able to do the split, keep his right leg out, and now the Rangers go two-on-one. Here comes Nash, Nash with Boyle, Nash, shot, stop, rebound, he has the puck again, puts it right through, Boyle, and now we have a breakaway going the other way. Here's Sam Gagne against Lundqvist, Gagne fakes, and it slides off the stick. So we play on. How can you not love three-on-three three hockey? <laughs> Is this not great? Here comes McDonough. Rangers have a two-on-one. Ryan McDonough, that shot deflected away. JT Miller to the puck. Miller holding. Still holding. Now he'll take it to the goal. Curl back. JT Miller in possession. Still holding. Hands it off for Yandel. Yandel still with the puck. Rangers weaving in their own zone, and now the puck out to center, and now Gagne steals again. He can't have much energy left after missing the breakaway. Gagne gets tangled up with Oscar Lindbergh, no call, as Yandel goes back for it. A minute 37 remaining here in the overtime. Still tied at two. Fresh Derek Broussard on the ice with speed into the zone. Off for Klein. Back down low for Broussard. Delzato to him. Broussard has Zuccarello as well. Makes a move for Broussard off his stick. He loses possession, and now the Flyers look to go three on two. Here comes Reed. Zuccarello back checking. Good play by Max Zuccarello. Now Reed tries to get the puck in front. Flips it on there. What a stop by Lundqvist. The rebound. Oh, a save as Zuccarello dove down. Lundqvist without a stick again. A minute remaining. Simmons for Reed. Back for Wayne Simmons. Reed for Stripe, who tried to put one past Lundqvist, who didn't have a stick. He went back and got it. And it was dragged outside the zone by Giroux for an offside with 44.8 seconds remaining. I'll tell you what, this three on three hockey around the league is fantastic. Here's the Rangers' opportunity, two on one. The chance by Nash, and then when he throws it in front where there's a wide open net, goes past everyone, and here comes Gagne. Coming back hard on him was Stepan, but Gagne misses back and forth. What an overtime with 44.8 seconds remaining. It is still Giroux, Voracek, and Strite for the Flyers who have outshot the Rangers 4-2, and now here comes Kreider. Kreider's shot sails high and wide. It's on the back of the net, he knocks it off. Set play right off the faceoff. Hayes went straight forward with it. Kreider took off right from the drop of the puck. Here comes Voracek. McDonough back to watch him. Voracek spins, tries to feather it through for Giroux. It gets on goal. Lundqvist actually sticks out the leg and makes the save. 20 seconds remaining. Hayes in his own zone. Do the Rangers have time for one more rush? 
Here comes Hayes through center. Three flyers back. Hayes working on strike. Takes it to the net. Saved by Mason. Hayes still behind the net. Double team. Five seconds remaining. They look up at the clock. Take a long shot. Lundquist lets it sail wide. And we will go to a shootout. This is the 18th overtime we've had in the new three-on-three -three format. Only the eighth time we'll go to a shootout. It'll be Lundquist against Mason in the skills competition next. Welcome back to Philadelphia as we prepare for the New York Life shootout. Scott Arneal and Elaine Vigneault going over who will participate in the shootout as the Rangers and Flyers are still tied at two. Overtime chances. Matt Reed with that opportunity. Lundquist stopped that one. Zuccarello slid and helped out Lundquist on the chance by Simmons. And then Hayes with this rush right at the end. Strong move, tries to one-hand the puck past Mason. That doesn't work. And what an overtime that was. So the story of the game in no small part, the goaltenders, they will be again now. 46 saves for Henrik Lundqvist, including all 18 shots on goal from the Flyers in the third and five more in the overtime. Steve Mason stopped 37 out of 39. And the man who missed didn't even get a shot off on his overtime breakaway. Sam Gagne will start it off for the Philadelphia Flyers against Henrik Lundqvist. Here comes Gagne, weaving. And scores! Boy, that was some kind of a bag full of moves. You're talking about quick hands. Sam Gagne, look at all the moves. And then eventually that quick little move to the backhand and up and over Lundqvist that fast to make it one nothing. Speaking of players with a bunch of moves, Matt Zuccarello for the Rangers. Heads right. Snapshot stopped by Steve Mason. So after one round, it's the Flyers one nothing. Yeah, Zuccarello tried to make one little move to get Mason to move first. Mason stayed with him. Claude Giroux will shoot second for the Flyers. Here he comes. Oh, so many moves in the backhand beats Lundqvist. So the Flyers score on both. I don't think I've ever seen Lundqvist beat this badly. What a move by Giroux. So now Derek Stepan needs to score for the Rangers to stay alive in the shootout. Stepan against Steve Mason. He heads left. And slides it through his legs and scores. How about that for Silky Smooth? The fake shot, a little bit of a move, and then a just quick flick of the wrist. Wow, what a goal. And now Wayne Simmons will look to win it for the Flyers. Simmons against Lundqvist. Lundqvist stayed with him that time and makes the save. So the Rangers stay alive in the shootout. A lot of move by Simmons, and Lundqvist stays with him all the way. And the third Ranger shooter, Dominic Moore. We look to keep it alive. Six of 15 in shootouts in his career. Here he comes. And the save by Mason, and the Flyers win. So Dominic Moore elected to go to the backhand. Mason stayed with him, made the stop. And the Flyers in a shootout. Beat the Rangers, 3-2. Now Dominic Moore came in with some speed. Little fake shot, fake backhand, and tried to slide it through. And this time, Mason kept the stick on the ice and is able to come up with the save. Here it is again. Good save by Mason. And the Flyers have won 4 of 5. So the Rangers get one point, but are not able to get the second. They go down to defeat here on a Saturday night in Philadelphia. 3-2, the final score.
Here's our fourth goal of the game. It's JT Miller, the first for the Rangers, and the first, his first this season. That was a good job by the Rangers coming up the ice. Yandel was the fourth player in, and JT Miller finally gets his first. Our Mercedes-Benz stars of the game, Derek Broussard, who scored on the power play to give the Rangers another tie with his second of the season. That was in the second period. And Henrik Lundqvist, 46 saves, 18 in the third, five more in overtime, 46 saves on 48 shots. The stars of the game brought to you by your Mercedes-Benz Tri-State dealers. Visit on the web at mbusa.com. Our final score once again in the shootout, the Flyers over the Rangers, 3-2. It's just beginning, a full night of hockey here on MSG. We'll get you to the conclusion of the Islanders-Blues game and then Hockey Night Live. But first, Joe, Dave, and I will have the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame live from here in Philadelphia coming up right after this.